The embed kit for the program manager can be used for the easel command or embedded in the Modern Music Easel's MBO module. This video covers installing the program manager into the Electric Music Box I.O. If you want to install it in the 208C, we have a different video on our YouTube channel that covers that procedure. Embedding the program manager into the MBO makes the program manager a more integrated feature into the easel and gives it a lower profile, which is better for travel. The embed kit has parts for embedding into the 208 sound source, as well as installing into the lit box area of the MBO. The embed kit has the needed hardware, mounting pieces, cabling, and button array for both the MBO and 208C embedding. As a result, some parts will go unused, so don't panic at the end. In particular, this small panel and this frame will not be used. You'll need a precision Phillips head number one screwdriver for the screws and a 3 16th inch driver for the nuts. If you only have metric, a 5 mm driver can substitute, but will be slightly large. A small dish is essential for keeping your hardware from falling on the floor. Besides that, you'll need hands and the patience to deal with small parts. The first step is to separate the two panels of the program manager card. You'll need to use the screwdriver to remove these three screws. Keep your dish handy so you don't lose all the hardware. You'll be needing these screws later. Once the screws are gone, we can remove the faceplate. Then we'll separate the two boards. Start at the small header and get a little movement going to loosen it. Now move to the larger headers and start to loosen and pry those apart. You'll need to be careful as there's a ribbon cable connecting these two halves. Now that these are separated, we want to remove the ribbon cable from the main board. Do not remove it from the screen, as small parts are more easily lost from that side. A firm grip and a slight tug will remove the display cable. Next, we'll remove the screen. But before we do that, let's practice putting the display cable into the receiver. It's better to get used to it now as it's easier to do. Keep the shiny contacts up, not the blue side. Pinch the cable firmly and find the display cable contacts up label. This is where you'll insert it, not the side with the visible wires. Get a corner started and rock it back and forth gently. Push it in and you'll feel it go in. When you can't see any more silver on the cable, you'll know the connection is complete. Now, we'll remove it again and get started on removing the screen. There are four nuts to remove with the driver. There are also four small nylon washers under these nuts, so be careful not to lose them. Using a driver rather than pliers here makes this much easier. We will be using the nuts and washers later, so put them in the dish as they come off. With the nuts removed, gently pull the screen up and carefully dump the nylon washers into your hand and put them in the dish. Congratulations, the screen is now removed. To remove all the black front panel screws from the perimeter of the 208C and the MBO. We'll then remove the lip box from the MBO to make room for the program manager. In order to install the program manager, you'll need access to the backs of both the 208C and the MBO. Get a stiff piece of plastic like a spudger or even a credit card. The first work your way under the 208C. You'll want to do the 208C first to give you easier access to the MBO. Tilt the 208C forward, then bring it up, and rest it on the metal rail. You'll now be able to get the MBO and lift it straight up, then tilt it forward. Now you'll be able to tilt both pieces forward and rest them on the easel. You'll now have access to the screws on the back of the lit box and the screws in the back of the 208C to properly install the program manager. You may find that some of the ribbon cables are causing a bit too much tension. You can remove them, but take a video or mark them so you know where to put them back. Flip the MBO over and remove four screws to free the lit box and remove four screws from the front to free the standoffs. Make sure you save all fasteners.
Starting with the button array, we'll secure it to the boards. Gather the two 3 inch screws and two hex nuts from the hardware kit, and find the MBO face and back plate. I've already separated these, but a simple bend will separate them. Next, get the button array and we'll place it on the back plate. Get a screw started into the nut and use the screwdriver to secure it to the board, holding the nut with your finger. Getting the second screw in can be a bit tricky because of the spacing, but once it is through, get the nut started and secure it with the driver. Now we will secure the screen, which was previously harvested from the program manager. Feed the ribbon cable through the window and gather the four screws and nuts that were previously used to fasten the screen to the program manager. Again, feed the screws through the holes, then fasten the nuts with the 3 16 inch driver. There's no need to over tighten. Gather the standoffs and the four screws that were previously used to hold the lit box in the MBO. Feed screws through the backboard and secure them with the threaded standoffs. Place the faceplate board on top, and we'll then fasten the screen and button assembly to the MBO faceplate with four more 440 screws, also reserved from the light box disassembly. Place the MBO on its side, and now we can work on the 208C. Disconnect the two program card ribbon cable connectors and gather the one half inch long standoffs from the hardware kit. I've already done this, but there are two screws that you will need to remove before you hand tighten the standoffs into the two locations shown here. Align the headers on the side of the program card with the weasel graphic to the headers on the 208 board. Place the card on top and gently squeeze the headers together. Use the screws you just removed to secure the program card to the standoffs. Now, connect the ribbon cables to the headers on the program manager card. Get the 10-pin ribbon cable from the embed kit and connect it to the button array on the MBO. The connector is keyed so it can only go in one way. The other end plugs into the program card's header on the left of the card. Finally, the display's ribbon cable needs to attach to the program card. Make sure the silver part of the ribbon cable is up. Pick up the MBO to make sure you have slack. And work it into the program manager's connection slot. Now is a good time to check all the connections on the MBO to make sure nothing got pulled loose. Now we can return the modules to the case, starting with the MBO. When replacing the 208C, put the top edge in first, then be careful not to pinch the flex cables along the bottom edge. Before you screw in the modules to the case, plug in the power, put the control into remote mode, and try loading some presets. Seeing the LEDs change with the preset is generally a good sign that things are properly working. Turn off the power and disconnect it. Now we can put all the faceplate screws back in to secure the modules and get back to making music.